Hello, happy gardeners. Welcome back to Stinky Dish Nursery. We got Katie on camera. So, Katie. Hello. And it's a little bit rainy here today. We're in the UK and it's February. So we're sort of at the end of winter. Spring is around the corner. Also, the sound of rain on a greenhouse roof. Oh, isn't it lovely? Isn't it lovely? Anyway, today we are getting some onions going. We're going to start off some onions. We're going to be growing some in some pots. We're going to be chitting some, which means we're going to be starting them off before we plant them outside. And this video is for Sarah. Sarah, I'm sure you'll be watching this. Thank you for a uh, lovely time last weekend. And I haven't stayed up drinking until half past three in the morning for a long time. It's just nice to know that this granddad can still do it. <laughs> anyway, right back to the onions. We are going to be growing onions from sets. You can grow onions from seed, it takes a long time. If you're new to this, if you've never grown anything that you've eaten in your garden before, start off with some onion sets. Onions go in everything, everyone uses them all the time, and um, they're easy to do, and you do not need to have a vegetable plot to do this. You can grow them in tubs, we're gonna start some off in this tray, and then you can just pop them in your garden, in your flower beds. You know, just put one there, one there. They don't have to be in lines or anything like that. And by the end of the summer, you'll have onions of your own. Growing your own food is special. It helps you appreciate what it's all about. If you've grown a carrot from seed, I can guarantee you it's not going to end up at the bottom of your fridge going all bendy like that. You will eat it. You will eat it. And you'll understand um, something that's very important. Anyway, enough rabbiting on, let's get back to the onions. Now I bought some old self some onion sets, they're called Sturon, this um, type of onion, and uh, I've got 50 in there, and it was a couple of quid. You can get these from your garden centre, you can get them from hardware stores. And um, here we go, I'm gonna rip them open. Katie, if you'd like to spin and show people the onion sets. They're basically little onions that have been started off for you already. Now, you wanna check they're quite firm. They wanna be firm, and the bottom is this bit, this is where the roots come out, and the top is this little bit here. There we are. Now you may have a few that have started sprouting and sort of going a bit mouldy like that. You do not want these. You do not want those. They can go into the compost. That one there, it's got a little bit of, see, it's not looking brilliant. So we're not going to use that either. That could turn into a problem. You just want your nice shiny ones like this. Yep, there's another one that's not too good. So we'll take them out of that. So go through them, have a look at what you've got. And um, there's another one, gone a bit mouldy. And it's not unusual to get these in these packs, you know. So, so pick out your nasty ones. And uh, let me put that to the side. And what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to start them off in a tray. We're not going to be growing them in here, but we're going to get them to start sprouting. We're going to get some root growing. We're going to get some top growing. We're going to do this in an unheated greenhouse. You can do this in your little um, plastic, tiny greenhouses if you haven't got a big one that you've had from last year. Hopefully you've all cleared them out by now, all ready for the new year. Um, and once they've grown a little bit, we can start planting them out into pots or into the ground in your flower beds, in your vegetable plot. Gives them a little bit of a head start and we'll have much better onions growing. So for this you will need a tray with some holes in the bottom of it, a bit of drainage in there, and some seed compost or you could use some multi-purpose compost, anything like that. I've got this a little bit damp first. And Katie, if you can spin it, I'll show you how damp I've got it. Now what you want it is a consistency. If, the, if you squeeze it like this, it sticks together and then you give it a bit of a crumble and it crumbles apart again. So we don't want it too wet, but we do not want it bone dry. And I've given it a sieve with a, oh, with a sieve like that. And Sarah, I know you've got one of these. Get some mud out your garden. Get some mud out your garden, give it a sieve, that will be perfect. And then put them in your conservatory. You've got a nice cold conservatory, that's what you want. Cold conservatories, they have got good use in the winter or in the spring. You get stuff going in them, as long as it's unheated. Some things like heat, some don't. I'm really rambling on now, let's get on with the post. Here we go, so I'm gonna put a layer of this soil. I've just used topsoil with a bit of gritty sand here. The gritty sand is um, like this, like that. So I just got a bit of topsoil out of the garden, I've sieved it with a bit of gritty sand, and there we go. And now all I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take my onion sets, like this, yeah? I'm gonna go like that. That's it, look at this people. Could anything be easier? Make sure you get them the right way up. And there we go. That's it, that is it. Now that will start these growing. That will get them going. And um, in a few weeks, I'll follow this up. And uh, we'll... Uh... Do you know what? I'm thinking I should have put more soil in there now. I'm gonna put some more soil in there. Should we start again or not? No, we won't start again. We've already gone on too long. I'm gonna put some more soil in there because I don't want to do it again. There we are, sorry, sorry, sorry. There we go, right, right there we are. Bit better filled. 
There we go. And now I'm going to stick them in. There we are. There. Look. I'm just poking them in like that. Now, I poked one in a minute ago and I felt it hit the bottom and I thought, hmm, don't want that to happen. So that's it. I'll fill that tray up. We're going to leave that in an unheated greenhouse in a nice sunny position. Let's put these two in as well. We're going to leave that in an unheated greenhouse in a nice sunny position and those should start sprouting and I will follow it up. I'll follow it up. I'll try to hopefully get through this. Now I'm going to also start some in a tub. I've put a few stones at the bottom of this tub. It's got holes in the bottom of it and I filled it up again with a topsoil mix. I've used some topsoil, I've used a bit of gritty sand and we're going to use that. Now these will grow. They will grow. They'll grow to about this big. Yeah? Onion size. And so what we, want, we don't want to overcrowd them. So I'm going to stick one here. Katie, have a look. Just in this trough, I think I'm going to stick five. So another one there, another one there. You want to be spacing them about this far apart when you finally plant them outside. Another one there, and another one there. Get that little bit off of that. And there we go, that's it. There we are. I'm going to leave that in our unheated greenhouse. Um, or you could put it in your little thing outside. Or even if you've not got anything like that, Put it in a place outside where you're not going to get too much rain on it. It doesn't want to get too wet at the moment. They're not actively growing, so they're not going to be drinking. Um, and that's it. Sarah, if you haven't done it now, why haven't you? You've had a week. <laughs> anyway, this has been Robbie Phoenix down at Stinky Ditch Nursery with Casey on camera. Just showing you how to get your onions started and how to grow them in tubs. Wonderful thing to grow. They really are. They'll get you into a bit of food gardening.